supersonic cruise missiles technology will open up a new chapter in Iran's defense program because they are highly challenging to intercept the missile due to their supersonic speed, according to the state news agency Tasnam. Recently Iran announced that it has successfully developed the technology to develop supersonic cruise missiles, a capability that is expected to further increase Western concerns about Tehran's missile capabilities. Tehran claims that these supersonic cruise missiles are difficult to intercept by air defense systems. According to the state news agency Tasnam, supersonic cruise missiles will open a new chapter in Iran's defense program because they are highly challenging to intercept due to their supersonic speed. The news agency also stated that Iran's supersonic cruise missiles utilize the latest engine systems compared to previous defense industry models used in the country. Supersonic cruise missiles will enhance Iran's military response in any conflict and prevent invading forces from reacting quickly it added. The announcement mentions that these supersonic cruise missiles are still in the testing phase. This revelation about Iran's latest supersonic cruise missile capabilities comes as the United States deploys thousands of its troops to the Middle East alongside F-35 and F-16 fighter jets to address potential threats from Iran and Russia. Despite facing military sanctions, Iran continues to enhance its guided missile capabilities. However, Western military analysts accused Iran of sometimes exaggerating its missile capabilities to obscure its weaknesses. Tehran, which is alleged to possess one of the largest guided missile development programs in the Middle East, claims that its arsenal can strike military bases in Israel and the United States in the region. A few months ago, Iran unveiled its first hypersonic missile called Fatah, which can reach speeds of Mach 15 and is claimed to be impervious to any air defense systems due to its high velocity. Iranian authorities assert that the all-black Fatah hypersonic missile has a range of up to 1,400 kilometers. Regional military observers suggest that the development of the Fatah hypersonic missile will heighten the concerns of the United States and Israel about Tehran's guided missile technology. According to the country's media, the Fatah can reach speeds of Mach 15, or over 5,000 meters per second, and no advanced air defense systems from the United States or Israel can intercept it. The introduction of the Fatah hypersonic missile follows the launch of an Iranian ballistic missile last month, which drew criticism and condemnation from Western countries, especially the United States and its main ally, Israel. Dubbed Kiber Iran's fourth-generation ballistic missile has a range of up to 2,000 kilometers and can target locations in Israel. It can also carry a conventional warhead weighing up to 1,500 kilograms, according to Iranian military officials, who added that Kiber can reach speeds of Mach 15 outside the atmosphere and Mach 8 within the atmosphere. Meanwhile, cruise missiles are not as quick as supersonic missiles, as their flight path follows a low-altitude trajectory, so the IRGC plans to develop supersonic cruise missiles. The top IRGC commander hit out at the U.S., accusing it of launching military, strategic and economic war against Iran, while asserting that Iranian forces have expanded their presence to the coasts of the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea.
His remarks came hours after the IRGC announced they have developed a long-range cruise missile in a move that is likely to inflame tensions with the West. IRGC Navy Commander Amirali Hajizadeh told State TV late on Friday that a cruise missile with a range of 1,650 kilometers has been added to the country's missile arsenal. The State TV also broadcast a film showing the missile named Pava striking a mock target. We are now capable of targeting American aircraft carriers at a 2,000-kilometer distance," Hajizada noted, saying they did not intend to kill poor U.S. soldiers at a military base in Iraq in January 2020, in retaliation for the killing of top Iranian military general Qasem Soleimani. God willing, we are looking to kill Donald Trump, Mike Pompeo, General Kenneth, McKenzie and military commanders who issued the order to kill Soleimani, he told the state TV. Iranian officials have repeatedly vowed to take revenge for Soleimani's killing in a U.S. airstrike, contributing to tensions. The rapid development of the country's missile arsenal in recent years has also fueled tensions between Tehran and Western countries. Earlier this month, French Foreign Minister Catherine Kalana called for a stronger international response to Iran's missile proliferation in a phone call with her American counterpart Antony Blinken. Iran maintains that its missile program is non-negotiable and a means of deterrence.